welcome to my workshop. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make satchels. Whoop, 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 whoop. Finally, satchels. To start off, I've gone on Pinterest and I found a pattern that I've liked and I've cut it out on my fabric. For the curved part of our flap, I have already cut one side and I'm just folding it over and cutting the rest off just to match the other side. All right, here are the pattern pieces I have and I'm getting ready to sew it together and I also have this one right here which is doubled up. Now, before I sew, I am going to cut out the same pattern with my leather. So I am sewing the bag part together and I found the center and I am so I sewed the side piece to it and I'm doing the exact same thing on this side and then I'll show the next step after that. Once I've sewn that together, I am taking my scissors and I am making a fourth of an inch cut on where I sewed just before the stitch so that I can bring this up along this side and sew it to it. All right, I have the base done and this is what it looks like, or at least it should like look like. I just followed the same step as I did before by curving the edge and sewing along the edge and it ended up looking like this had a square yep and now we're gonna move on to our leather ah, I'm so excited for this part so this part is a little different what we're gonna do is we are gonna find a pattern that we like that is a little squiggly cool ornate design so I've gotten a piece of paper and I've cut out the top part of our flap for our, our bag and I've traced out a design that I want that I am going to put this gold cording over it. And it's going to look so cute! Now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to draw this on the design onto our flap pad. Now that I've figured out my design, I've gone ahead and painted it on with a fabric paint and now I'm gonna go ahead and sew it on. You can either do this, you can either sew it with your hands or you could use your machine. I am using my sheen just because it is a lot faster. have this part done I've gone ahead and I've done a design on the long piece of our pattern of our fabric and now I'm just doing the exact same thing I did over there to this let's get a move on Okay, I've gotten that done and now what I did at the beginning with my lining I'm also doing the exact same thing I'm sewing right here snipping and then flipping this over and sewing up to the top I have it done sewn up off on the sides now and this is what it looks like with it just being like that now we're gonna go on to their next step which is the magnets which is right here it's gonna be awesome <laughs> for this part it is a little tricky it is a little different but it does what it's supposed to so I am actually taking my front piece not this piece but the lining and I am taking it at the top and I am folding it under to where it's gonna be folded over into the seam allowance. And I'm holding it right there. Then, I'm bringing it forward and measuring right where my magnet is gonna go on our fabric, and I'm gonna mark it. With the magnet, I am taking it and I'm gonna make some slats 
right here to go just right where it's supposed to and I'm marking it pushing it hard on our fabric and I see the lines and I'm gonna cut a little hole right there now that I have those cut I'm just sliding in my magnet flipping it all the way inside out once I flipped it inside out and I've laid it flat, this is what it looks like and it's poking through. And I have my little plate and I'm laying it over the top of it, like so. And I'm keeping it really tight and now we're gonna put it down. We're bending it just like a one of those little leaflets and we're gonna put it there. And it's pretty solid and it's not gonna go anywhere now. Now I'm marking where I want the other part of our magnet to go on our lining. There we go. Now, to make sure that I'm doing it right, I'm gonna trim this and line it up so that I'm making sure that it's lined up correctly. And it lines up correctly, so let's go ahead and cut it like we did before. We wanna make sure that this is gonna line up like this and that the fabric is gonna be this against that. So, and we're gonna do that. It'll be just fine. Perfect! Look at that. Looks awesome. It snaps right on. Look at that. Woo! Yes! So, I have my liner already done, and what I'm doing is I'm taking it and flipping it inside out. Once that is flipped inside out, I am gonna put it with the leather piece now. There is no right way or wrong way to do this, just as long as this is inside out and this is right side out, we're just putting it in. Once we get it in, we are gonna match up our seams with the outside seams as well. So seam there and seam right here, and we're gonna pin that in place and make sure that it's right there. Yep, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right. Now we're gonna do our part that goes on the top over it. It's gonna be all epic. Okay, we have our fancy side and our fancy side and we're squishing them together. So the ugly sides are on the outside. And we're gonna sew over the top around the edges. I'm actually starting at the bottom so that I know that it lines up. So let's get a move on. Time to flip it inside out. Ooh, so fancy. All right, let's go ahead and top stitch it down so it lays flat and looks good. Okay, now I'm working on the strap and I am gonna do a little design on the edge of it with that's with our same gold stuff and it's gonna look fabulous. I am going to do the exact same thing that I did over here, except with the strap. I've gotten the strap done, and this is what it looks like. And now we're gonna attach all our final pieces. So I am actually starting by taking this and attaching it right to the magnet. I am folding my leather piece over about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. And then I'm taking my, my flap that goes over and pinning it in place with that. Doing the exact same thing, pinching it, folding it over about a quarter to a half an inch, making sure that this is flat and lines up, then pinning it in place. Then once that's pinned in place, I'm gonna go ahead and sew it down onto the leather itself. So I have that on there now, it's just sewn on, and now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the straps. I'm gonna flip it, pinch it about a half an inch to a quarter of an inch, and then I'm just gonna attach the strap itself to it. Final step is just put the liner in. And for this part, what I'm doing is I am just doing a quarter of an inch to a half an inch fold like I did with our 
flap and then I'm just sewing it in with the sewing machine. It's really easy, super easy, and then we are done with our bag. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. This is a lot easier than it looked. It took me about three hours to make. If you like my Renaissance videos, please let me know in the comments because I love Renaissance videos and I want to make more. <sighs> yep, it was great. I love this. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!